Hey everybody, what's up? I'm back at you with another video. Um, this time around I'm doing a review of an, uh, of a movie that I really think needs a lot of, um, of, um, attention, because, um, no one's really reviewed this movie on YouTube, I don't think at least. But if, has, if no one has, I'd like to be the first of, of hopefully many to do so. So, um, here we go. Um, this is my review of one of the known movies called Nine. I said it, Nine. Um, <clears throat> I got this shortly after it came out on DVD in January. Um, I saw it once, I thought it was awesome. I haven't watched it in a while, so I thought I might as well do it again. So, um, this is based on an 11 minute short film of the same title, Nine. Um, which features nine rag dolls. There's one of them. Um, um, the last nine people things in existence, because humanity has been taken over by machines. All machines, um, all humanity is gone. Um, let me start off with the case art. It's actually very nice. It's very nice and glossy, and also has some rough edges on the along it. Like there, you got the machine. You have two machines there. You've got nine really in the light staff. You got some stuff here, like a baby head, something, something in a, a dictionary. On the side there, you have the number on, on the top here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a picture of nine. On the back, you've got um, nine, you have one, you have seven, and you have eight. And um, it's a four-star rating. And um, this is, of course, the sleeve. Because you can tell it's got some stickers on here. You've got the, um, the price tag right there, which I got for $19.99 at Best Buy. It has a little sticker over here advertising also available on Blu-ray to get it for the most of your HD TV. And of course, this is, of course, the slipcase. This is the actual case. And, um, I really love the case art. I really like it for the... I really wish I could have a poster of this art on my computer. I mean, on my, um... Um, computer. I'm probably gonna look for a photo of it on Google. Um, but... Anyway, let's get this opened up. Crack it open. Um, in a lot of my reviews, I complain that discs are blank with just a little indentation of the logo. This one's like that, but it's actually colored. It's a green disc, and it's clear where the number 9 is. Because that's, of course, also the title. Um, not This movie doesn't really get a lot of... Um, of, um, recognition on YouTube. I mean, people have uploaded trailers, and, uh, NECA, when this movie came out, they did a line of, well, two figures from the movie, of action figures. Um, they did, they only made two of them. They made one who is this guy with the headpiece, and they made nine himself, but they were really bad. They didn't, you know, they didn't have articulation, they, they could barely hold the accessories that they came with, if they did. So they really just continued, discontinued the line. The movie itself was amazing. The graphics were really good. Oops, looks like my camera fell. Um, overall, um, let me just try to reposition this. Okay, ah, there we go. Overall, um, if you like Tim Burton movies, because this is directed by Tim Burton, or actually it's produced it to by him, um, you might want to pick this up. Um, I'm a big fan of the movie. Um, I really, when I wanted this movie and District 9, I definitely got the two titles confused on which one was which. But, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Later, guys, I'm out of here. Go shop at Big Bad Toy Store. It's awesome.